so much for doing this. Uh, this show is amazing, and your character is just amazing. I love her on-screen presence and everything. So I know for you, music is not something new. You you did uh, Famous in Love, which was fantastic, and you was fantastic in it. Uh, previously, you stated that Destiny was pushing you into acting and music. Do you, do you still feel that way now, that it's a full Destiny, or are you like, I'm just going at it, Destiny and I, what's going on? <laughs> well, hi, Dana. Thank you so much for loving the show. I can feel your enthusiasm about it. I really appreciate that. Um, I definitely still feel like Destiny. I mean, when I said that, what, three years ago, I mm -hmm. felt it. But now at this point, working with legends in the music business, I mean, Destiny is screaming at me at this point, you know? Um, and I'm, I'm very, very excited. I definitely feel like I, I was just saying earlier that... Choosing to not pursue music when I was younger, I don't regret that decision, right. but a part of you always feels like, oh, well, what if I did just try to do it? And, you know, so it, it's, it just blows my mind that I get to do this on such a grand scale right now. Oh, very nice. So I know, here's the thing, we all kind of know who Little Muffin is, but who is Lauren Rice? Ooh. Yeah, it's funny because when you said the first half of the question, I was going to say, well, do you know who Lil Muffin is? Oh, oh, oh I don't know. Yeah, you don't, you don't know. Lauren Rice is someone where she's an onion that we're just going to keep unraveling and unraveling. And she's so many different things. She's she's going to be someone you relate to, someone who is strong in, in some instances, someone who needs help. She, she's, she's all of us. And... Um, I, as much as I love playing Lil Muffin, I'm really excited for people to see the girl behind the mask. Okay. Now we do know when you when your people kind of stormed into the hospital room for Lil Muffin, they were all kind of men. You didn't really seem to have much of personal friends that we know of yet. But why was it that you kind of gravitated towards the nasty bitches, and especially Brianna? Well, we're going to find out um later muffin didn't grow up being the cool girl she definitely was bullied a lot in school so she doesn't have a lot of those close friendships and i think we're gonna learn that's where this um that's where muffin stems from that's where this brash colorful person stems from is sometimes when we we don't feel comfortable in who we actually are right we go so hard in the other direction and maybe that's why she doesn't have close people around her i think she might be afraid of being found out like she said in the second episode, she doesn't want to talk to them about who Lauren is. It's almost like a fear. If, if you get to know Lauren, are you going to still love me? You know, so I think these, uh, her gravitating towards the queens, it's at first, I think she was really nervous and she doesn't want anyone getting close because like I said, if you get close, are you going to think I'm cool? I'm not as cool as you guys. You guys are legends. Even though I wasn't there for your legendary things that I've heard about it, you're going to think that I'm, I'm weak and I'm lame. So she, that's how she feels. But eventually, um, she does want that connection, especially with women. She's never had that. Right. Can you say if Lauren is running away from Muffin or is it Muffin that's running away from Lauren? Muffin is 100% running away from Lauren. I think Lauren represents someone that never got attention, someone that was bullied, um, someone that, that didn't leave an impact in the world, that, that never showed up for herself. And um, Muffin is completely opposite of that. Muffin is someone who's at the top of her game. She's the hottest rapper out right now. And no one can tell Muffin anything. And I think Muffin does not want to ever be in the position where she doesn't feel good enough. And that's that's who Lauren always was. And that's lame to, to Muffin. So we know that Blue Muffin is a rapper. Is Lauren, would you say, is also a rapper? Or does she fit more to another genre of music? I think Muffin definitely has, I mean, Lauren has a lot to say lyrically. Mm -hmm. And we, we haven't established that, you know, Muffin is a good singer or, or you know, any of that. So I think, I think, yeah, maybe Lauren even started off being an incredible poet. Maybe when she was bullied, she, she stayed up at night writing poems, writing poetry, and 
I think that just wasn't cool enough and she didn't feel confident enough, but she found that when she could make it Harajuku and, you know, talk in funny voices with like Nicki Minaj, she thought, wow, that's really cool. So I think eventually we're going to get to see that Lauren actually is, um, maybe has even more to offer to, to the music. Ooh, I like that. Now, uh, here's the thing. I was wondering, do you get the scripts all in advance or is it by episode by episode? It, it is by episode by episode, but I mean, the writers do such a great job. We, they literally pump these scripts out. And right now I have three scripts sitting on my desk, which isn't usually the case. Mm -hmm. We get it one by one by one, but it helps because I get to know more about who Lauren is in advance. And I get to really build this structure of who, who this woman is. Right. Now in the first episode towards the end, someone is getting shot. We don't know if they're dead. Are there any theories that you, as Pepe, have? Are there any theories that I have? Hmm. I, I do, but I mean, it could go any way. All my theories point at every single person, which is a little scary. But even when I ask the writers, right, I ask it here. I'm like, who got shot? He's like, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> All the secrets. <laughs> Does, does, does Lauren or Lil Muff have any, any enemies that we should just look out for? Any clues? <laughs> well, she might. <laughs> she might. I mean, Lil Muff, you know, she's, she's unproblematic. She minds her business, even though she's a little bit crazy. She's not hurtful. But you never know who you might piss off by just being yourself, you know? Hmm. That's that's very true. So here's the thing I was wondering. We can't really spoil much, but there's an incident with the rehab and then running away. With that said, how do you think, if you could guess, um, this experience being in rehab will affect who Lil Muff Lauren is? Ooh, I think we're really going to have to wait and see, but it could go both ways right we've seen her try the rehab thing and we've seen that it, it's she's at a really stubborn place in her life and I think we always have to remember what is she running away from what is worse than being being um, coked out what is worse than overdosing what is worse than that is being Lauren and going back to obscurity and losing all the things that come with being Lil Muffin that to, to Lauren is is death I think that's worse than death right now so that's one scenario, and who knows, the other scenarios, maybe with the queens being in her life, maybe someone can get through to her, because these women have actually been through it, and it's not just a bunch of men who don't know what it is to be like, you know, a woman in the industry, a black woman in the industry, so it can go either way, I'm, I'm anxious to see how, you know, like, we're filming these episodes as we are airing them, so the questions you have, honey, I have them too. <laughs> was intentional that she tried to overdose yeah I don't think she tried to overdose but I mean just to get into my head as the actor my preparation for that scene was I was just terrified I was terrified that these I can't remember the last time I've invited anyone who isn't a clout chaser to my house to hang out you know and I was terrified they showed up late I was terrified they didn't think I was cool so I just accidentally binged like way harder than I usually do and drank and, and just all that concoction together um I think it was a mistake I don't I don't actually think Lauren was trying to scream out for help in that particular way Okay. Now, there's a lot of different musicians that's working with this. We got Nas, with Beats, there's Cameron. There's a lot of different music. Could you just talk about what was the rehearsal process like? I know when you get the song, how do you break it down and, and the filming of it? Yes, yes. Um, so we have an amazing choreographer, Fatima. I mean, Fatima is a mm -hmm. legend in the industry. She's choreographed Aaliyah, Michael Jackson, some of the biggest wigs in the industry. And um, she... Yeah, we have rehearsals with her. We have a dance rehearsal. She makes us feel extremely comfortable. Before we do that, we get the songs. And we only I only really have the song for, if I'm lucky, three days, two days. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, and um, uh, an amazing rapper, Lady London, writes for me. She is amazing. Shout out to her. So I get the songs from Lady. And then 
I try to infuse Muffin into it. Lady is a rapper, right? She's a real rapper. She's not trying to be a caricature. So it's my job to bring the acting into it. So I go into my garage band. I start thinking of little quirky ways to say things and like cartoonish ways. And, and that's how I do that. Then I go into the studio, lay the track down. Then we do the rehearsal. It's a whole <laughs> I really feel like I'm a real artist. It's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That is really amazing. I love everything what I've seen so far. Uh, please, for stay alive. We need to live for season two. I don't know what's going on with the shooting, but <laughs> this was exciting. It's so incredible. Thank you for speaking to me. Of course. Thank you so much, Dana. No problem.